say? What a lot of fish there are. Hmm. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Some are too big, some are toothless. Who's that Pokemon? Looks like it's a new fish. Looks like it's a groove fish. Looks like Scooby Doo fish. Come on, gang, let's split up now into a manta ray and a sea cow. They could be fish, but I don't see how they could both be just because they live under the sea with these three buds. This is a catfish. This is a catfish. This is a catfish. This is a fascist. <laughs> nice suit, man. Speaking of suits, I was visited by some suits the other day. And by suits, I mean some well-dressed individuals. But these individuals were fish. They were all dressed up in black. Said their names were James and Jack. They tried to claim my favorite snack, but I said no way, brother, and grabbed it back. This show of violence prompted a tussle, but I've been doing push-ups and had some muscle, so I knocked them out with a mighty punch, and I bent them to my cat for lunch. You may think that's a little bit gory, but that is a true fish story. Just like shooting fish in a barrel. When one day, to mow my lawn, tried to start the mower but it wouldn't turn on. Thought to myself, what could be wrong? So I took a look to see what was going on. Fish in the grass, fish in the grass, but there is a fish in the grass. Did not expect this, did not expect that, but it's definitely there. A fish in the grass. And I was so, so surprised, thought I would take it inside. But this turned out to be a huge mistake, cause this fish was actually possessed by a demon. And now it's roaming around the house, and popping up in random places all spooky-like. Fish on the chair, fish on the bed, I think that there might be a fish on my head. Fish in the bath, fish on the couch, why did I ever let that fish in my house? Then I remembered my leftover steak, which I had not eaten because it was too hard to bake. So I went to the fridge, then I went to the fish, and I stabbed it violently and ended it. You may think that's a little bit gory, but that is a true fish story. when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. What the fish? I don't know where I am. Turns out I've been captured by a fish man. And he doesn't like the fact that I'm a human. So he's got an evil plan to give me fish hands. And he did it. Oh gosh, oh no. He laughed wickedly then let me go. Lost in New York City and wanted to get home. Try to thumb a ride but these people don't know that when I hold my fish hands up that means I need them to pick me up. Didn't realize it would be so tough to thumb a ride when you don't have any thumbs. Wasn't until I was somewhere near Clifton that I found a car that I could get a lift in. And things were all hunky-dory, till my fish hands started talking to me, expressing their concerns that this whole situation was a little fishy. And I said, look you silly fishes, this is actually auspicious. This here Prius has a nexus, I conclude that he's religious. It is not very judicious for you to be so suspicious. You are both being a vicious, I don't think this guy is vicious. The counter, we're delicious, he's malicious, we're nutritious. I said you're just a fishman on my mind, nearly fictitious. And they said, well, just the same. Maybe you should Google his name. So I did, and the results that came revealed he hunted exotic game. Oh no! Oh, oh wow, it was just a dream. Wow, that's nice, now I don't have to scream. Then I looked over, gave a little gulp, cause in my nightmare I turned my pillow to a pole. Oops. <laughs> you may think that's a little bit gory, but that is a true fish story. Stay in school, kids. Fishman, out.